Hey everyone, uh, I'm John Jansen. I'm here in my workshop studio uh, just outside Washington, D.C. on the Maryland side. Uh, I'm the composer for Edible Numbers, and Jake Swanson asked me to write this piece back in 2017. Uh, maybe it was late 2016, but it was part of his Wired project. Uh, and at the time, I was still a grad student at SUNY Fredonia in western New York. And there was a place there that was really important to me. Uh, it was a sort of beach environment uh, called Point Gratchet. It was a beach along Lake Erie. Um, and I would go there as often as I could. Um, I was also teaching myself photography at the time. Um, so I would go there and try to take photos. You know, the water always looks different. There's always things to see there. Um, you're gonna see one of those photos next. One of the most striking things about this place are the shale cliffs that are built up of all these layers of rock. And viewed from far away, uh, the layers might look very consistent. But on a more geological level, um, each layer is telling a very different story. Uh, and so there's this sort of uh, illusion of repetition. And that's something I like to do in my music, is create the illusion of repetition, where it seems like something is repeating, but nothing ever repeats exactly the same way twice. So in Edible Numbers, I am actually using the same pitch class set throughout the whole piece, and you're gonna hear that now. But I'm using several different processes happening at many different levels in the piece to create these constantly shifting meters, rhythms, and phrases. So nothing ever repeats exactly the same way twice throughout the piece and it's these processes that kind of help drive the piece forward. And when I'm writing pieces like this, I think it's important, uh, I actually wrote everything out by hand. I wrote out every note uh, by hand uh, with pencil. And I find that when I'm working with repetition as a compositional element, um, even when it's trying to avoid it, uh, if I work on paper, uh, it helps, just kind of ends up giving me a better final product. So I hope you enjoy the piece. Um, a big thanks to Jake Swanson. Uh, it's been a great friendship over the years, and uh, he's really championed this piece, playing it all over the country. So a big thank you, and I hope that you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 